Gary Ryan of Ryan Enterprises collects plastic recyclables from all across mid-Missouri and turns them into long-life agricultural products. Ryan accepts just about every kind of plastic, including the kinds that make up yogurt containers, flower pots, and even old cassette tapes. A lot of different kinds of flower pots, trays, uh, boy, you name it, on flower pots, just about anything and everything. After collecting plastic recyclables, Ryan runs the plastic through a two-stage grinding system. This particular machine will uh, shred them up and bring it down to a particle size of about the size of a potato chip. It's a two-inch screen, so it reduces it from whatever it starts out as down to a two-inch. Then from here it goes into our next uh, grinder which will bring it down to a 3 8 grind, which is an industry standard. And that's a pretty small particle size. We've got to have a small uniform particle size so that when we melt it, we're not trying to melt a big piece and a little piece uh, side by side going through the machine. So that's why we have a two-stage two grinding system. And by having this two-stage system, it really gives me the flexibility to take big profiles big pieces of plastic that nobody else at most of your recycling centers would be able to handle. Next, the small plastic particles are sorted and separated into large bins. A high-powered vacuum sucks up the small particles and puts them into a large melting machine. It was a little lower melt temperature, so I'm around about 4, 425. Once the plastic is melted, it's colored black using a natural compound then the warm molten, molten plastic is carried through pipes and emptied into large metal molds. These molds vary in shape and size according to the different products that they'll create, such as parking stops, fence posts, and gardening timbers. Excess plastic is dropped or squeezed onto the floor. Later this material is remelted and used to make products. Once the molds have cooled, they're open to reveal new usable products.